For ski resorts, it's survival of the fittest in the era of climate change. In Europe, they had to use helicopters and trucks to carry snow to the bare slopes in order to stay open. And in Japan, energy costs were so high that they had to keep the machinery shut down and just wait for natural snow to fall down the sky. Snow cover is projected to shrink globally as the planet warms, so this is a challenging future for ski resorts. And yet ski resorts are not failing businesses, they are collectively investing billions to survive and thrive. Research shows that resorts at a higher altitude with more financial resources and that are larger in size have a winning hand in this more competitive landscape. One strategy is getting together with other resorts and issuing multi-resort seasonal passes. So if one doesn't have snow, chances are that others will. Another strategy is to use super sophisticated scientific research to figure out which parts of the mountains will have more snow in the future and to build the slopes there. And finally, more and more resorts are using the winter installations through the whole year. So in Europe, for example, resorts are opening ski lifts in the summer to allow people access to the most remote parts of the mountains. These are all winning strategies with the companies behind them making record profits last season.